Five sparsely populated islands off the coast of one of America's largest metropolises. Who would have thought that such a contrast was possible? However, like so many of our national parks, Channel Islands finds new ways of presenting history, culture, and nature in a format that all visitors can understand. The Channel Islands were once part of a single island around 13,000 years ago when the first settlers from Siberia crossed the Bering Land Bridge into what is now the Americas and made their way down the Pacific coast to where present-day Los Angeles is and began to explore. Over the next few thousand years, the people known as the Chumash developed a complex society so that by the time Europeans arrived, they were impressed with the natives. Unfortunately, the Chumash contracted some of the diseases brought over from Europe, and by the 1820s, the last of the native people had been moved on to the mainland. The islands remained mostly empty until the 1860s, when Chinese fishermen started harvesting abalone, a type of shellfish. Since most of the abalone was located in the Santa Barbara Channel, the fishermen set up camp on Santa Barbara Island and started selling the meat and shells. This trade continued until 1915, when California banned abalone trade to China, causing a decline in the fishing industry. By the 1990s, the shellfish were almost extinct. However, the islands had already become a national park over a decade earlier, 1980, and had already been a national monument since 1938, when Franklin Roosevelt declared it as such. All visits to these fascinating islands should start at the Robert J. Lago Marzino Visitor Center on the mainland of Ventura. The center offers displays about local natural features on the island, as well as the history of the islands. Heading out to the islands, Anacapa Island is actually three islets connected by two channels. Attractions include the famed Inspiration Point, which offers great views of the rest of the islands, and a trail to a historic lighthouse built in 1932. Santa Cruz Island is a popular choice for visitors, with lots of opportunities to explore the coast and inland. Santa Rosa Island is home to three shipwrecks off the coast of the island, as well as hiking trails to Black Mountain at 1,298 feet above sea level. A permit is required to access San Miguel Island, which is home to a monument honoring Juan Cabrillo, who explored the Pacific coast in the 1500s. Finally, Santa Barbara Island offers great viewing of wildlife, including elephants, seals, and sea lions. The Channel Islands are a unique bunch of wildlife and history magnets that offer an excellent time in America's national parks.